Hi everyone, this is Doward Wilkinson and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Veritas Software. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about a very important subject, Veritas's unified approach to ransomware resiliency. Ransomware resiliency from the edge to the core to the cloud. And really, when we start talking about this, what we want to talk about is the idea of we're protecting all data from a single platform. And what does that mean? That means you can standardize on a single platform. You can improve responsiveness and resiliency against threats, whether those are insider or external threats. You can simplify the environment for your users, and there's less uncertainty in the, uh, for your business. And then, of course, automation and orchestration are really a key part of this. So we want to ensure that backups are encrypted and immutable, and that means that the data, once it's written, cannot be changed. This ensures that you have the ability to make sure that your data is protected and the whole process should be automated and orchestrated so that it's consistent across the, uh, your environment. Whether you use uh, a flex appliance, which is Veritas storage, or you use some sort of third party storage, given the heterogeneous nature of net backup, that is fully allowed with our OST integration. So let's begin the process uh, of creating a flex appliance. So as you can see, we have a console. And at this point, we're going to go through the process of creating a mutable storage. So we want to add a server into the net backup uh, domain. So this is going to give us the name of the server that we're going to be using. Then we want to uh, add a NIC interface into the uh, environment. And then really uh, we start to just build upon all of these features, all of these simple aspects of defining the storage and the tenant associated with that storage. So we want to make sure that uh, we create uh, the, uh, start thinking about, at this point, the length of time associated with it. So you add in things like the name, the NIC, the IP address, and what have you. And then it, you really start to think about the minimum and maximum amount of time that you want to have for your net backup immutable storage container. And really the value of this is that we make sure that for your business, you have a minimum time that you want to have this data hardened and then a maximum time that you may have uh, reasons to delete it after that. So we set the re minimum requirement for approximately two, day, uh, two days. The maximum requirement in this case we set for two weeks, and then we're done. And essentially, we've added in the uh, certificates necessary for security. And this is a very easy process on how to configure net backup and net backup software. Thank you very much for joining us. We're looking forward to seeing you and talking to you again.